Hello everyone, uh, this is Sergio from Rhino Fab Studio and uh, today I'm going to just show you an, uh, a very easy way to be able to have your uh, recently used commands uh, right at your fingertips where you don't have to go hunting down for commands over and over again. So uh, we know that in Rhino uh, every time we use a command like a circle for example, uh, we create a circle and if we want to do that one more time, another different circle or repeat it, uh, we either uh, we, we hit enter. So we right click or we press the space bar or we press enter, right? Any one of these uh, will repeat the previously used command. Uh, but uh, let's say that I did use uh, the circle. Now I use rectangle. Now the previously used command is a rectangle. So if I wanted to right now do another circle, I can quickly press enter or right click to start again. Uh, one way to get that back, to get that circle command again without having to go find it wherever it is in the commands, uh, I can right click the command line. And the command line will then bring me up my recently, command, recently used commands and list them here. And I can pick circle again and go from there. But I want to show you another interesting uh, way that can be done. Uh, and it's very simple. All you have to do is go to your uh, options. I'm going to go ahead and click on the gear here. Get into the Rhino options. And I'm going to go to the toolbars. Open up and go to size and styles. And inside there, there is a option to have last use buttons visible. And basically this is a new uh, toolbar that's going to be available in your screen uh, that you're able to keep. And it will have your previously used commands. I'm going to check that in, click OK, and uh, the toolbar is over here. And uh, for example, what I'm going to do is I'm going to place it right underneath here. And I can bring this down because it doesn't really need that much space, maybe just two rows. There we go, that's good enough. OK, so now look at that. I have my recently used commands right at my fingertips. If I do circle, there, circle is the first one. If I do a surface from, uh, uh, let's say, uh, a planar surface right here, there, now plane is right there. So if I need to do a circle, I can just go over here and click, and I got the circle again. If I need to do another rectangle, click, I got a rectangle. If I want to extrude that rectangle, ah, here's extrusion. I recently used it, so there it is, the extrusion. So now this little toolbar here keeps updating itself with new commands as I use them uh, and I don't have to be hunting them down if I need to repeat a command they will all be listed right here uh, hopefully this will uh, you guys can find this uh, helpful so enjoy